All right. Okay. Today we are back with another BTS reaction video. And Army, we've got a treat for you. We do. Today we will be listening to one of BTS's most popular songs, a song that uh, we have been hearing about since our very first ever BTS reaction. Yeah. Uh, and a song that I assume we've heard snippets of dozens of times. Yeah, man. Idol. Simple, straightforward. Yeah. But probably not so much. Yeah. Because we have a music video that is probably going to shock us just as much, if not more, than the music video for Blood, Sweat, and Tears yeah. did. The music video for DNA did. All of these bangs the staple bts songs fake love fake love yeah there's so many of them but this one right here idol comes from 2018 and on bts wiki it says it serves as the title track and appears as the 15th track of cda in their second compilation album love yourself answer Oh, I didn't really realize that Love Yourself Answer was a compilation album. Mm. Uh, but it also says a remixed version featuring American Trinidadian, Trinidadian rapper Nicki Minaj. Come on now. Nicki Minaj was released the same day in the wow. digital version of their second compilation album. Also, a stadium remix was released on October 16, 2018 and serves as the third track in their 10th Japanese single, Fake Love slash Airplane Part. <laughs> and uh, many of you out there, Army Gold members, informed us that the recent song or snippet of a song that we heard mm -hmm. at the beginning of the last BTS episode that we watched mm -hmm. was Airplane Part 2. And we likey likey. We like what we heard, man. So uh, maybe what we do, Jordan, is put a comment down below or something, uh, and the people can like it if they mm. want us to go on a little detour. I like that. A little off-the-road trip. I like that, brother. I thought I saw some people say that they performed it at PTD. Yeah, PTD LA. Okay. We'll be watching the PTD uh, Las Vegas. Okay. And it's not on the Las Vegas set list. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Like the comment down below if you want Airplane Part 2. Or just straight up tell us. Yeah. Airplane Part 1 was insane. Yeah. J-Hope. Oh. oh. Insane, <laughs> right? You remember that? We may have to listen to that again right now. Right now? I mean, you just brought it back in my head, Jordan. A little snippet of it. Can we let you a little snippet? Go ahead. I'll type. Use the cursor. You ain't got to tell me twice. Airplane part one. Come on now. All right, just play a tiny piece of this drum. Yeah. Let's remind ourselves. By a tiny piece, you mean three minutes and 21 seconds of it? Possibly six minutes and 42 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> oh, this is one of those ones. It's been a while. Damn. That's all. That's all right. good. We're good. Okay. You sure? Uh, you sure you don't want to just test sample airplane part? Part two. <laughs> oh, you want to dive into airplane part two? Uh, just a little test sample? Sure. No, I'm just kidding. We'll save that for a reaction. <laughs> we already test sampled it. All right. Today's for idle. All right. Today is idle, everybody. 
we have a whole list of content provided to us by our wonderful patron Jen. We are just going to go down the list. And this will most likely be another multi-part yeah. reaction because there is a lot of content. So where are we headed first, brother? First up, we have a little teaser. Uh, and have we, I don't know if we watched the teasers for the previous songs that we've been listening to. Yeah, I know we watched them for some. Yeah. I can't remember which ones. But uh, we have a 41 second idle official teaser. Let's go. All right, let's hear it. Here we go. Whistling today. Yeah. He's coughing. Okay. I, putting him in a coffin. Ooh. Putting us in a coffin. I have, I don't think I've heard that sound before. I, I don't recall. Yeah, that's like that uh, traditional mm. Hagum like sound. Right. Mixed with like an upbeat. Yeah. EDM ish. Yeah. Caribbean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Type feel. Ooh. Which might make sense as to why Nikki hopped on this. Mmm. Right? Oh, yeah. Oh, snap. <laughs> All right. I, li I like the vocals that I heard. Oh, yeah. All right. I was going into this thinking we heard a, a piece of it. Yeah. We still may have heard some of it. All right. Is it time, brother? Oh, yeah. Well, let's jump in, everybody. This is, as you mentioned, Jared one of bts's most popular songs one of their most popular music videos as of june 21st 2024 it sits at approximately 1.289 wow billion wow views so you know what that means right what's it like if you just look at this jordan look at that number mm -hmm. that eight nine is 89 million <laughs> like sometimes it, we look at 1.2 billion on youtube and it just doesn't make sense yeah like that 89 is 89 million yeah and you see that 223 right that's 223 thousand correct and that was probably just within the past two months that is a ridiculous number 1.289 billion yeah 223,391 views let's go let's hit it everybody this is bts idol official music video here we go it sounds a little familiar this does sound more familiar Come on. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Rapper JK Okay, boys. Men? Boys to men. They went from boys to men in the span of five years. All right, this was, this was a lot, Jordan. This felt like a, like a liberation anthem, right? Mm -hmm. They're busting free. Mm -hmm. You can't stop me loving myself. Oh, 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 Right? I got Gangnam Style vibes. Ooh. Like the, the gripping nature of this song. Yeah. Right? You find yourself singing random parts. Yeah. Could I just read what I wrote down really quick? You say Gangnam Style vibes. For me, this was World Cup Ooh. meets... Olympics. Oh yeah, meets Burning Man. Oh, I'm not too familiar with Burning Man. Can you educate me? <laughs> I've never been to Burning Man myself. Okay, but it's like a freeing experience. Like, what is Burning Man? Oh, well, let's actually look it up. I don't know if I can actually explain what Burning Man is. All right, let's look it up. Okay, so on Wikipedia it says that Burning Man is a week-long, large-scale desert event focused on community, art, self-expression, and self-reliance held annually oh, in the so Western United States. Is anybody invited, or is this like some exclusive ah, thing? It's a good question. Whoa. Yeah, but I just... Whoa! Go to what? this picture with all the... Yeah, left. Right, right there. Here, right here. Oh, whoa. Damn. All right, it looks... Quite organized. <laughs> yeah. I know a lot of people just ha who go to Burning Man have stories from Burning Man. Yeah. And it's always usually like something crazy happened. Yeah. But it's anything goes. And that may not be the case, but it's a very liberating. Just watching this music video, that's the feel I got. Yeah. Sorry oh, yeah. to go on that detour. No, I definitely feel the, the World Cup yeah. vibes. Yeah. All right. This is a song that it stands for a lot, it feels like. Yeah, you know, and it brings people together. 
yeah. and it's about loving yourself. Yep. Right? And you and not allowing others to stop you from doing that. Exactly. Or not a let not allowing others to put you in a box yeah. per se. Yeah. Like RM starts it off. You call me an artist. You call me an idol, or any other something you can come up with. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. Joe, yeah, what do you I'm think? Free. Of, yeah. What do you think about this music video? What the hell? Yeah, this was probably the most insane music video we've seen from BTS. Um, just like insane creativity, creatively. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't even know how to interpret what I'm seeing. There's yeah. so much color, so much abstractness, mm. um, so many different animals and things. It says Jimin right there. Yeah, some sort of dragon. Jimin the dragon. Damn, I miss sugars. Is that uh, his B21 character? BT21? BT, yeah. <laughs> Shooky? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Maybe they were Corbin. doing that to come back at the people who talk about Sugar's height. Wait, who talks about Sugar's height? I don't know. Is he? He's the shortest one in the group, right? Is he? It looks like it. Yeah, he is. I mean, he's not the tallest. Yeah. Yeah, this was crazy. Abstract is the right word. Oh, oh look at this, man. Look like flowers. So much color. Yeah. And it's like BTS is superimposed. Yeah. Sometimes the the artwork is superimposed. It's like a um oh my goodness. Yeah, it's wild. It reminds me when we used to do those little collage type projects in art. Oh plan. yeah, yeah. And I don't mean any disrespect by that. That right there reminds me of Gangnam style. Mm. What about it? The jumping up and down right there okay <laughs> and then this like this reminds us of um hagum hagum yeah or deji ta baby deji ta that the traditional korean yeah 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 element and we do have an explanation video to watch after okay. this so that'll probably help out can you go to two minutes and 40 ish seconds yeah uh, focus in on one particular leg movement that they do. Okay. Right. It looks like the stanky leg, but watch. And I think JK's in, in the middle. Look, look, oh. look at that. Look at that. Oh, that got me. Look at, look at that. Oh. Uh. Oof. What is that? What is that called? I don't know. Look at their outfits. Look at. Look at them titan <laughs> selves. Yeah, these are BTS titans. Mm. Wow. Oh my goodness. This is a this has got to be the thumbnail. Maybe, maybe. It's like they're looking at themselves inside of a box. Yeah. As idols. Yeah. Right? The song is called Idol. Jared. I can hear Nikki on. Yeah, I can hear Nikki on this. Even if she comes in in the higher tempo parts, she's gonna spit. She's gonna be rapping fast. I have no idea, but I can hear her going off. Yep. Or I the mean, she idol. Can, yeah, she can go towards the pop or poppier end. Yeah, she can. She's gonna spit. Damn. Oh, Jimin's part. Play that again, John. Okay. Oh, yeah. We got to replay a few parts. That part? Crazy. And you hear JK's ad libs in the back. Yeah. Jared, 
this part of the song, they, they did it a few times. Oh yeah, we've heard that part before. Yeah, I'm sure of it. But that's my favorite part. Yeah, and they sort of dig underneath the ground and just give us that rawness over just bass. Yeah, I would consider that a semi breakdown. Yeah. 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 Anything else, man? Before we move on to these lyrics, you mentioned the the lyrics. You can't stop me from loving myself. Yeah which was very important to this song. Anything else? I, just overall, like you felt that release from BTS. Yeah. Right? There's a lot of pent up anger and frustration perhaps, but they let that out. Mm. And once they let that out, you just see the confidence. Right. Right? And the, the togetherness. Yeah. What about you? Um... This is one of those pieces of art that when you experience for the first time, the music video is so captivating yeah. that it sort of takes you on its own adventures. Mm. So I found myself getting very distracted by this. I mean, this is like, oh my goodness, what is going on here? Every scene is something different. Yeah. Their outfits, so colorful. Giraffes, you have tigers, I believe I saw. Airplanes coming at you. It looks like they are off the ground floating in the air right here. Oh, what did we just see? Did we just see V with unicorns? Yeah, so much you can't even keep up. Right. So I found myself very distracted in the best way possible. Yeah. One of these things. What are they called? At the car dealership. Yeah. Did you look at their attire? Bugs Bunny. It's just so much detail in a, in a unique way that we haven't yeah. seen up to this point. The use of different mediums. Yeah. You know, it's not just a regular music video. Yeah. They're incorporating art into it. Running Man. He mentions Running Man. People want us to watch that. Uh, I don't know if it's a series or a little show. All right. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I, I could, I could <laughs> play some music, but I'm sorry. Un unmute that thing. All right. I'm a shark. I'm like a little kid. <laughs> you show this to a little kid, it's, it's over. over. They yeah. could sit there for ten hours. A little, show it to a little kid, or show it to somebody who just took some substance. Oh my goodness, it's over. That's why you gotta play this at Burning Man. <laughs> yeah. What are they saying right there? Right, one more time. That leg movement again. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Crazy. All right, Jordan. All right, man. Shall we dig into these lyrics? Let's do it, brother. Let's head over to Dual Set and check out these lyrics. Okay, so according to Dual Set, Idol was produced by P Dog. Yeah. Makes sense. 
uh, written by P-Dog, Supreme Boy, Hitman Bang, Ali Tamposi, mm. Roman Campolo, and R.M. Uh, Roman Campolo. Sounds like an Italian name. Yeah. But I could be wrong. All right, the lyrics begin, you can call me artist, you can call me idol, or you can call me anything else. I don't care. Mm. I'm proud of it. I'm free. Yeah. No more irony because I've been me all the time. Ooh. Mm. You can point your fingers at me. I don't care at all. Whatever reason you have to denigrate me. I love that word, by the way. Denigrate? Denigrate. Yeah. Um, can we get a definition of that, by the way? Yes, sir. I remember the first time I ever heard or read the word denigrate, and I was like, what the f? This, this sounds like another word I know. <laughs> what are you talking about? The N word? The N word. But it look, look what it says. Mm. Uh, to speak damagingly of, criticize in a derogatory manner, sully or defame. Damn. Um, yeah. Damn and I, yeah, I don't know. I, I was real young. I, I just remember this word sticking out, denigrate. And I thought like to, to blacken somebody's, oh. somebody's image. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. I remember hearing the word for black in Spanish and being surprised. What's that word? Negro. Negro. Yeah. Right? So I wonder where sometimes the yeah the N word comes from. I don't think we ever dug into that. Where it comes from? Yeah. Like the actual word. The oh. N-I-G, which you see in a lot of different words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But G-E-R. All right. <laughs> maybe maybe another day. <laughs> All right. Sorry for that detour. I mean, did we ever learn where that word comes from, though? Are you you want to look no, it up right now? No, not today. Okay, you're right. You're right. I know what I am. I know what I want. I never gonna change. <laughs> I never gonna trade. Trade mm. off. Okay. What do you talk or why do you talk loud? Blah blah. Uh. I do what I do, so mind your own, own business. Yeah. You can't stop me loving myself. That's one thing that nobody can ever stop you from doing. Yeah. I love that. You're so, it's great. And it says here, pronounced ursu mm. is a sound you make out of excitement or to make it more exciting. When you're singing or dancing to traditional music in Korea, see this clip, a performance of Hyung Buga and listen to what the audience shouts during the performance. Urshigu, Urshigu is a common variation from Urshu. All right, you wanna check yeah. that out quick? Let's do it. Mm. Okay. All right, so it's not letting us click the, yeah. the hyperlink, but um, on Wikipedia, I guess we can read this. It says, Hyung Buga is one of the five surviving stories of the Korean pensori storytelling tradition. It is also called Baktar Yong or Hyung Boga. The other stories are listed right here. <laughs> it is about the story of Hyung Bu, a poor but good man with many children. Hyung Buga depicts common people's lives with a folksy atmosphere. Many listeners prefer Hyung Boga because it's focus on humor, because of its focus on humor. Mm. This humor in Pansori is called Jadam Sori, which means funny sound in Korean. Okay. All right, I don't know if that um, really tells us much in terms yeah. of, yeah. I don't know. All right, we'll All right. continue though. All right, lyrics continue. You can't stop me loving myself. Ji Waja. It's great. And it says pronounced ji huaja is a sound that functions similar to urshu, mm. urshu, boosting the mood of performers or viewers with traditional music played in the background. Jesse, a Korean American rapper based in Korea, collaborated with another rapper, Crispy Crunch, and Kim Yong Im, 
one of the most famous Korean classical musicians and made a hip hop rendition of this song, a traditional folk song. You can hear the singer sing, Er Shi Gu, it's great at the end. Okay, so uh, just BTS doing what they do. Right? Yeah. Injecting wordplay and historical folk lore. Right. And it seems like these words right here are pretty specific to when traditional music is being played. Yeah, and boosting the mood. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's see if this clip works. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> it's a hard beat. It is. I love the traditional aspect. Yeah. When you start hearing, oh my goodness, someone sing like that yeah. or play a, an instrument where it clearly stands out. Yeah. I love it. No matter what culture it is. Like you can do it with uh, music over here that's yeah. like soulful. And you can have a feel that's like brings you right back to the days where, you know, our ancestors were singing spirituals. Right. Yeah, music is powerful, man. All right, the lyrics continue. You can't stop me loving myself. Oh, mm. duck. <laughs> and it says, this is a traditional Korean music beat called Gut Gero Ri. A traditional Korean music beat. Okay. <laughs> All right, BTS did a lot with this song, John. Yeah, man. Interesting. All right, let's uh, hear this beat yeah. real quick, a snippet of it. 2012년 9월 7일 날 경기민요 장부장단 즉 이금주 경기민요 장부장단 I don't think there's subtitles, no. but 시연을 선물하겠습니다. He's about to play. 먼저 국거리 장구장단부터 시작합니다. 국거리 장구장단 1번서부터 10번까지 있는데. I wonder what this instrument's called. Yeah. Did they tell us? 시연하겠습니다. 1번 학교 겁니다. skip further to see if he uh, adds more to it all right So they said, what about that? That it don't, oh, okay. So I think they just probably Mentioned. wrapped it out, right? Yeah, yeah. We'll have to re-listen to that part. But you oh, could clearly see him right. like, hear what he was doing on the instrument. Right, and him saying, don't yeah. be that, um, get out. Yep. Yeah, yeah, okay. Don't let sugar get a sample <laughs> or get a hold of that instrument. Right. Sugar will flip this into something that we won't believe. He will retreat to that camper and he will get to work. <laughs> and he will drive all the way to Burning Man. Yeah. All come, right. Come back with a Burning Man pack. You want to take over here? All right. Or Sue. This is just like la 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 la. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember how it went, but it went hard. Uh, and then they repeat 
what they did up here, the traditional Korean music beat. Um, and they say Ursu. And here we go. It says face off as if I'm John Woo. A. That sounds like such a hard line. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what they're talking about, but it sounds like a hard line. It says it's a movie reference um, to the movie Face Off, directed by John Woo. Okay. Oh, has John Travolta and Nicolas Cage been in it? All right. It's an Amer a 1997 American science fiction action thriller directed by John Woo from a screenplay by Mike Werb um, about an FBI agent and a terrorist who undergo an experimental surgery to swap their faces Ooh. and in the process their identities. That sounds fascinating. So this is John Woo. <laughs> okay, a little, bit right. of, a little bit of quick wordplay. Face off as if I'm John, John Woo. Woo. A, top star with that spotlight. A, sometimes I become a superhero. Keep spinning your on pan And we know what that reference means. Yeah. 24 hours are not enough. I can't afford to be confused. I do my thing. Mm. I love myself. Mm. I love myself. Mm. I love my fans. Love my dance and love my what? There are tens and hundreds of myself within me. Ooh. So that's maybe why we saw the visual Ooh. of so many different faces. BTS's faces. I like that line. There are tens and hundreds of myself within me. Today I greet my another self. They are all me after all. Mm. So I just run rather than worrying. Running run man, man, running man, running run man. Why do you make a noise? Blah, blah. I do what I do, so mind your own business. You can't stop me loving myself. Ursu, it's great. You can't stop me loving myself. Jiwaha or Jiwaja, it's great. You can't stop me loving myself. And then they repeat these lines. I'm not going to repeat them because I'm just going to butcher them. All right. Um, and then, yeah. They take us out by saying, I'm so fine wherever I go. Though sometimes I go around the long way. That line stuck out to me. Mm. Though sometimes I go around the long way. It's okay. Why do you think they do that? Like, what's the meaning of that line? Though sometimes I go around the long way. I, I took it as like, you don't know when you're on your journey, mm. how long it's going to take you to accomplish your, your yeah, goals. Yeah. And sometimes you may take a wrong turn. Okay. Or sometimes you may take a longer time than you initially thought you would. And maybe all along you didn't have to. Like, there yeah. was an easier road. But it's your journey, so inevitably you ended up Got taking it. a long way yeah. here or there. That's how I took it. I like that. It could also be voluntary. Right? Uh. You voluntarily take the long way. Oh, yeah. Right? For some reason, when I was hearing that line i thought of like walking in a park or something or yeah. walking you know surrounded by nature mm. sometimes you want to take the long way right you don't want the walk to end yeah so you take the long way oh. yeah and taking the long way can be a way to tap into your own presence and meet your other selves right as they mentioned up above yeah okay all right so they continue it's okay I'm in love with my myself. Jin said that. Jin said that? When he said that, he stared right at the camera. He said, it's okay. I'm in love with my myself. Uh, why do you think they included two mys? Was it to, to fill the gap? Because mm. the line would have ended a little uh, early. Maybe. Yeah. It's creative. Yeah. It stands out. Or is it purposeful? I'm in love with my myself. Ooh. My my. No, I said it three times right here. My I my myself. I think in the in the video I only saw two. Oh, okay. I don't know. But that's a good point. I'm in love with my, my myself. Yeah. I like that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then they say, it's okay, I'm happy at this moment. And then they take us out. Ursu, it's great. You can't stop me loving myself. Jiwa Ja. It's great. 
you can't stop me loving myself. And then uh, they repeat these lines. Oh, yeah. Jared, man, why, why do I feel like this needs to be played at the 2024 Olympics? Even though it was created in 2018. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, it's a song that seems to withstand the test of time. Yeah. It's relevant in whatever era it's played in. Yeah, it's a song for anybody on a journey. Yeah. Right? And athletes in particular. Not only will it get you fired up before your match or your game, yeah. but it will give you inspiration. Right? Right. Love yourself. Don't give up. Let's go. Right. All right. Anything else when it comes to the lyrics or you want to check out this ex explanation video? Yeah. I'm excited to see another person break this down. All right. Um, let's check it out, everybody. And the explanation video we're going to watch is one by DKDKTV. So, as we know, they give us a Korean perspective, yeah. which should be very helpful. So let's check it out, everybody. This is BTS Idol, explained by a Korean. 